family, it's Christy with Designs for Diva, and today I wanted to talk about some common myths associated with mobile homes. There are so many misconceptions about manufactured homes out there. Today we're going to talk about them, and I'm going to share what is fact and what is fiction. Now, small disclaimer, I'm not a professional. I have, however, done some research, and I ask that you do the same. So let's go ahead and get started. First, we're going to talk about myth number one. Manufactured homes are not built as good as site-built homes. What do you think? Is it fact or is it fiction? The truth is, it's fiction. Let's talk about the process of building a manufactured or prefab home. Step one, number one is the beginning of the home building process. The whole prefab home building process begins with a steel frame which is welded on site. Concrete is then poured over the base of the steel frame creating a strong off-site built home foundation. Once the frame is in place, layers of insulation are added before the flooring system and plumbing are installed. The wooden floor frame and plumbing are assembled together and once this floor fr frame is complete, the home will then move to the next station on this track system. Then comes step number two, the home flooring and wall framing. So next, the floor frame is dressed in flooring finishes like laminate or wood specified to your liking. Each home building facility is equipped with a team that puts an emphasis on home customization. You may choose from several flooring options provided by many brands or trained craftsmen that are built to your home specification. In an adjacent aisle, there's a craftsman that, that is building thick interior and exterior walls, and then they're installed along with cabinets and appliances. Likely exterior walls are lifted in place by a similar track system in the ceiling. Step number three, they top it off with a home roof construction. Now the home needs a roof system, for double wide offsite built homes, each side of the truss system is sealed and installation is blown into the ceiling cavity. Once the ceiling is painted, the entire roof structure is lifted and connected to the top of the home. Trained builders at a manufactured home building facility install installation into the roof of every manufactured home. The installation is made for off-site building home and it allows for manufactured home companies or manufactured homes to be energy efficient and cost effective. Step four, home siding and interior touches. Now all of the pieces, now that all of the pieces are put together, it's all hands on deck around the facility. A team adds roofing tiles, hand placed siding, installs doors and windows, wraps the exterior of the home. And while all of this is going on, the inside of the home really starts to take shape and you can then go and visit the home at this phase. It'll look familiar to an on-site built house under construction because, this, and this is also where the custom features start to take shape, right? Those things that you've chosen. Every individual home is never the same, if, especially if it's built to someone's specific specifications meaning your interior design requests are what really make the home your own now each home is built as one unit even though it travels in pieces and this helps ensure that the walls flooring and other important home pieces all line up once everything has been installed and paint, painted they then clean it up very little waste occurs during the process because it all gets recycled Step five and the most important step is safety and standard inspections. Each facility has their own checks and balances to ensure that every home that leaves the facility is safe and quality assured. These off-site built home inspections consist of different members checking to make sure every nut and bolt of your home is exactly the way it should be. Every time a home makes it to a new station, the team will evaluate the progress. This is a great way to ensure a quality home is built and shows the pride of trained craftsmen at work. 
after this whole process has been finished, every home is then sent to the home center that it was purchased and then delivered to the homeowner. So now that's the process of building a manufactured or prefab home. But there is also a rigorous inspection checklist that I didn't talk about. And I know I've given you a lot of information, but let's talk about that for just a moment. All manufactured homes undergo an extensive in, uh, internal inspection process in the home building facility to make sure that every part of the home meets HUD code construction requirements. To assure you that your home has met all HUD code standards, all homes built after June 15, 1976 must include a certification label to identify that the home was built in accordance with HUD's manufactured home construction and safety standards. If your home has the certification level, then you automatically know that it's met all of those code and building requirements. Under the HUD requirements, you're going to be covered for body and frame, thermal protection, structural load safety, roofing, a plumbing system, electrical and fire safety, structural ability to be transported, and that the late and that label can be found on the front and back of the home that you're purchasing. Now, on a side note, you never want to remove that label. It's red, and it indicates that it's passed that rigorous inspection for the home building. It, for the home building industry. If you decide in the future that you want to have your home moved for any reason or sold for any reason, it has to have that label. So there you have it. Manufactured homes are in fact built pretty good. One could argue that they may even be built in a better environment than a stick built home as they're protected from the elements and other forms of damage like theft and rodents during the building process and they go through that rigorous inspection. So now let's move on to myth number two. Manufactured homes do not appreciate in value like site built homes, they depreciate. Now what do you think? Is that fact or is it fiction? So many people think that manufactured homes depreciate in value, kind of like when you buy a car. When you drive it off the lot, it automatically loses value. Well, the, the fact is manufactured homes are not cars, but there is no real easy way to answer that question. The truth is you really have factors to consider. Are you selling the home with no land attached? If it doesn't have land, uh, you could see little or no appreciation, but with land, you may see a larger appreciation. Now, what about upkeep? Have you made improvements on the home? Have you kept it maintained? All of these play a factor in the appreciation or depreciation of your home. Some other factors include the land you own, the community you live in, the county you live in, the initial price of the home, the inflation rate, what the availability of lots in your area are if it's not attached to land. Are there realtors in the area that have experience with those types of sales? And are they committed to helping you get the best deal? Now, you may be saying that everything I just stated was a lot of factors. But if you think about it, did I name anything that wouldn't be applicable to a site-built home? No, I didn't. All of those factors play into any home purchase. So I didn't state this is fact or fiction, and here's why. The truth is, it all boils down to location. In the right location, manufactured homes will appreciate at the same rate as site-built homes. That's the fact. So now let's move on to myth number three. Manufactured homes will not stand up to strong winds and tornadoes. Fact or fiction? Now this is a real common one and really that's fiction. When it comes to buying a manufactured home, many home buyers are concerned about the safety of mobile homes in storms. This is a concern many, many home buyers have. However, 
Modern codes and improved building methods mean that prefabricated or manufactured homes can withstand harsher weather patterns just like any other home. Through the years, the effects of hurricanes on manufactured housing have led to changes in federal manufactured home building requirements to increase the safety of manufactured homes across the country. When they are properly installed and anchored, the manufactured home wind resistant has significant, significantly improved. In most of the country, manufactured homes are built to improve sustained winds of up to 70 miles per hour. Winds above this range will likely cause some forms of damage, but you'll be looking at tornado or hurricane type weather in this case. Then you will be facing winds somewhere around 112 miles per hour. Now, whether it's a manufactured home or a site built home, neither type of home is made to withstand winds at that rate. A direct hit from a tornado would damage any home or structure in its path. So it's important to prepare your manufactured home for high levels of winds. You can do so by boarding up your windows, installing mobile home uh, hurricane shutters, making sure that all your mobile homes hurricane tie downs are secure, placing sandbags under your doors, removing loose items and furniture from patios and porches, checking your foundation and having an inspector verify that all your tie downs are secure would be the most important factor in preparing your mobile home for hurricane strength winds. And that happens in the inspection process. And always make sure that you know how your local authorities will provide instructions in case of a hurricane or tornado and follow those instructions that they provide. And you'll be okay. Now, myth number four, mobile homes are for people with low income. Let's get right to this. That is fiction. It's stereotyping to say that. People choose to downsize. And manufactured, modular, and tiny homes are the way to go. We live in a 1,500 square foot, three bedroom, two bath house. Brand new, on site, on our property. That land home deal cost us $117,000. At the same, a home at the same size, smaller yard and a neighbor 10 feet away in most areas in Atlanta neighborhoods would cost us over $200,000. And that home would not have been brand new. So for us, it was a smart, cost-effective decision. Not because we uh, have low income, we chose to get the most for our money. There are a lot of people today choosing to live in mobile homes. They're cheaper than site-built homes, and you can then afford to spend your money in other ways of your choosing. Living in a mobile home tells you nothing of a person's income. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Myth number five. Myth number five is manufactured homes are more vulnerable to fire than site-built homes. Right to it, fiction. The fact is, manufactured homes are no more prone to fire than any other form of housing. A study from May 10th, 2017 showed that manufactured homes built since 1976 are safer than homes traditionally built on land. Nationally, the fire death rate in HUD code homes those built after 1976 was equivalent to other site built housing. And manufactured homes actually have a 38 to 44% fewer fire rate than site built homes. Okay. There's also a study from October of 2019 that states that the number of home fires is 17 per 1,000 for site built homes, while only 8 per 1,000 for manufactured homes. And let's keep it real. There are more stick-built homes than manufactured homes. But the reality is this. Fires are more than likely caused by human error, not the type of home that you have. So good common sense and regular maintenance will help prevent these types of injury to your home. Now here's a fun fact. 
HUD code has traditional standards for fire safety. Did you know that a manufactured home must have two exterior doors and they mu both must be remote from each other? They also both must be reachable without pass passage through other doors that are lockable. Site-built homes must have one exterior door and there's no reachable requirement for them. That's really something to think about. So that is the end, you guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel by hitting that red subscription button and hit the notification bell so you know anytime I upload a video. If you have any questions about anything I said, please be sure to leave me a comment below. And if you like this type of content, let me know. I'm, I'm always 